Hi, everybody. Good evening. Once again, I come to you helping you love through it, learn from it, and live after it. My name is Candy Zena, and I'm an author and life coach and CEO founder of Changing Seasons Life Coaching, where I help single moms strengthen their faith, family, and finances through coaching, mentorship, solutions, tools, books, workshops, and live events. And this evening, I just come here to share tips on how to maintain as much of your income as possible. Because truth be told, if your outgo exceeds your income, your upkeep become your downfall. And no, I'm not coming to you in judgment of the single mom. I'm not merely an observer of an out, a outsider looking in. You know those people who look at single moms and they tilt their head to the side and like, it's an incurable disease and say, oh, you're a single mother. No, I myself am a single mother and I am only here to share my life experiences in hope that it make life just a little easier. I only come in love and gentle instruction. Um, uh, uh, the saying goes that there's no blueprint to raise children. And the truth is each child is unique in it, in themselves. But the blueprint is actually the generation before us. Because according to Titus, the elder was charged with the responsibility of teaching a young mother. And, well, let's, let's go to Titus to, and let's see what the Lord said about it. So I'm reading from Titus 2 and 3. The older women, likewise, that they be reverent in their behavior and not slanders and gossipers, not given to much wine, but only teachers of the good, that they, the elder woman, be encouraged to teach the younger woman to love their husbands and to love their children. Teach the younger woman to be discreet, chaste, homemakers, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of God may not be blasphemed. So I'm only coming as someone in my generation reaching back to those in the generations that's coming after me and give them some instruction and guidance of the things that I learned along the way. And this is just my own theory. I think if more of us took upon that mantle of teaching the younger mothers, maybe there would be less children in foster care. Because truth be told, it is hard. It's a hard job. And according to statistics, 78.5% of women who filed as head of household fell below the poverty line. So I'm here to encourage those who stayed the course and say that you have done everything well. And there's no shame or regret or don't think that you should have or could have um, because I'm pretty sure if you would have known more to do, you would have done more. So I'm just really here to celebrate you. I'm celebrate you standing the course and, and, and celebrate you for standing in the trial and finding a way out. I'm celebrating you for through your celebrations, those things you got right. Did we get it all right? No. Do we, did you get it all wrong? No. But you stayed the course and I celebrate that. And I am proud of you. And I want to also encourage you, don't try to do it all alone. So some of us have great stories about um, great co-parenting situations um, and the child support come on time and in time. And that's beautiful. And I celebrate that story too. But truth be told, everybody don't have that story. So if you can't co-parent with that, the, the other parent, co-parent with somebody. Build you a strong support system of family and friends. Build the village that you need. The people that you could cry with, laugh with. The people who could call you to the carpet and instruct you. Because truth be told, you grow in instruction. 
You grow in instruction. You can't just have somebody keep agreeing with your opinion of things. So tonight I just come here to share with you some things that I shared in a webinar. Um, and uh, the webinar is called Don't Let the Grinch Steal Christmas. And it was based on a post that I seen that said rent, the rent stole Christmas. And the rent don't necessarily have to steal Christmas. If you structure your money in such a way, you can allow life to happen along with Christmas. And in fact, the first three tips that I share in that webinar, it allowed me to get $500 within one month by just restructuring some things in my household. Not getting a new job, not selling pizzas. It was just restructuring how I was spending my money. So I want you to be a good steward of time, money, and love. Because we love to say, and I know this is my thing, I'm like, um, oh, the money just went. The money, uh, where did the money go? Well, the money just don't go. We give it away. We've delegated it to a task. We just didn't take time to be accountable for where we sent that money to. So um, the tips I'm sharing with you tonight is number one, I want you to be accountable for what you spend. Okay? I want you to know what's coming in your household. That's being a good steward of knowing what's coming in. What is the, the income that's coming into your household? I also want you to know what's going out of your household. How much does it cost to run your home? I want you also to create a spending plan. You need to have a spending plan. And um, by allowing yourself to know what's coming in, you can know what's going out. Because if more is going out than coming in, that's the downfall. That's the downfall. And you want to break that cycle. Because truth be told, famine is only famine when you're not prepared. An emergency, statistics state that we have 12 emergencies a year. Okay? Jesus said, ye shall have tribulations. Grandma said, don't put all your eggs in one basket. So we know you have to save for a rainy day. We know... Okay, funny story. Um, I was hanging out with two of my seasoned ladies. And we had went into the Target store. And when we went in, when we entered into Target, it was a sunshiny San Diego day. It never rains in, uh, what's that, Southern California. It was a beautiful sunshiny day. But when we came out, it was a torrential rain, a rainy day in Seattle. But these seasoned ladies start whipping out rain bonnets, <laughs> umbrellas, ponchos. I'm like, how did they know that it was going to rain? They didn't know it was going to rain. Nobody checked the weather report that morning because we all had to be to work in the morning for 5, 6 o'clock in, in the morning. But they were prepared for a rainy day. And that's all I'm telling you. It will rain. Trials will come. But it's only a burden if you're not prepared for it. So the things that I teach in this workshop helps you be prepared for whatever come your way. At, or at least ease the burden just a little bit. So number one, know what's coming in. Number two, know what's going out. Number three, have a spending plan, okay? Now, number four, I want you to have a savings plan. Now, these steps right here is going to free up your mind creatively. So now you can think creatively on how to grow money or where are other income earners. In fact, with, this web, with the purchase of this webinar, you will receive an email with a list of um, additional income earners that you're able to do right there from your own home. So, um, but 
you can't think creatively. You can't hustle when you're hungry. You can't think creatively if you are burdened with just how to secure day to day. Okay, so I want to take that burden off of you. And I want to let you know you're not doing this alone. You're not doing single, being single mom, single does not mean alone. Single means whole, whole, complete, nothing missing, nothing broken. By you just focusing in on what needs to be focused on being a good steward of time, money, and love. Because I call it a workshop because it is you have to put in the work. You have to face it to fix it. And if it's going to be, it's up to you. If it's going to be, it's up to me. So whatever needs to be done in your household, tag your it. So now if you need additional hand holding, holding I'm here. Um, go to my website, candyzenon.com, and um, contact me. I don't mind walking you through it one-on-one. Like, hey, I don't mind doing this, Candy, but, you know, this is all new to me, and I never had to face this before, and I don't want to do it by myself. Cool. Contact me. Um, the webinar will get you started. If you need additional coaching, please contact me. Um, I want to encourage you and your babies to have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Obviously, encouragement is my strong suit and not singing. But I love you so much and I want you to win. And you are doing everything well. You have a good night.